Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bull Design, and today I'm going to talk about first aid kits. Now, I'm no expert on this, and everybody that backpacks has got their special first aid kit with everything that they want to carry, so I can just give you my spin on it. You can take it for what it's worth, but, you know, I've got some theories on the whole thing. First off, if you're an ultralight hiker, you don't want to carry a five-pound first aid kit because, you know, there's going to be four and a half pounds in it that you'll never use, and you just don't want to carry a lot of weight. You don't want anything really bulky, so I tend to lean towards small first aid kits like this with some very distinct things that I'm going to use in them. Most of the time when you're out backpacking, you're going to have one or two types of things that you're going to need first aid for. The first one is obviously a cut from a knife or whatever, and it's usually going to be on your hands. So usually what I carry is several different Band-Aids products. Uh, for dealing with your hands because your hands have to flex and there's a lot of curves on them so you know they can be kind of hard to bandage up especially fingertips and knuckles and stuff like that so I should have had this open ahead of time but hey you can sit here and watch me fumble okay this puppy right here I don't even know what it's called but it's designed to go over your knuckle goes right over your knuckle and then these fingers go down on each side so that when you bend your finger it'll flex that's a real handy rig. I've used these a lot for, for a knuckle wound and uh, they're tougher on the back so they're flexible and they work great. That's, that's a good one. Another real good one is this one here. Uh, this is designed I believe for like fingertips and uh, you, if anybody that's ever bandaged a fingertip you know they're almost impossible to bandage. And this is designed to go right over your fingertip. It goes like this and then goes over and then the two edges fold down. This is excellent. This will take care of a fingertip. No problem at all. Really worth carrying. Doesn't weigh anything. You can carry a dozen of them. There's no weight at all. Now for a little more serious type injuries, we've got these little babies right here. I call them sutures. I, this is some fancy name for them. But anyway, I'll see if I can get one out of the package here and show you what they look like. Okay, this is what they look like. Now, what are these? What these are designed for is, if you get a deep open cut that's going to lay open and just won't close up by itself, these have a really good adhesive on them. And you put this side on one side of the cut, put it on good and tight, and then pull the cut closed, and then push down the other side. So the cut's actually right here in the middle, and that'll actually pull a cut closed. It's kind of like a temporary stitch. It'll pull it closed and hold it. Use three or four of these on a big cut and they'll close it right up. Another thing that I've also used for big cuts along with these is a small tube of super glue. Uh, you can actually glue the skin right together and close the cut. If it's not bleeding real bad, if it's past the point of bleeding, you can actually glue a, a cut closed with them and you can actually, if you have some place on your hand, you can actually glue a a small cut close of that. The skin is actually cut all the way through so it's laying open. The super glue, it has its places. It's not not as good as these, but sometimes it's it's the way to go. Okay, uh, of course we've got the old standby moleskin for blisters. Can't beat moleskin. Don't leave home without it. If you get a blister on your foot, this could be the difference between suffering the whole time and having a fairly good day. Uh, and of course Sterile wipes. These are iodine based. I've also got alcohol based to sterilize the area before you bandage it. That's important. And the old standby. This is a big roll. I don't usually carry this big roll of uh, adhesive tape, waterproof adhesive tape. Some of this is better than others. Some of it has a plastic backing on it and tends to not conform to your body real well. And then there's another type that kind of has a canvas back on it. It's a little harder to come by. I prefer the canvas back because it tends to uh, soften and curve to the shape of your body. Now, <coughs> the thing with this is, if you don't have a bad cut, but say you have a cut on your finger, you can take a piece of this, clean the area up, and put it on there, and after it's been on there three or four hours, it just bonds right to your hand. You can actually wash your hands and carry on like you don't have a cut at all. Whereas if you put a bandage on that has gauze on it, every time you wash your hands, the gauze is going to get wet and you're going to have to change it. But being a, an automobile mechanic for a few years and a, and a well machine mechanic, I used this a lot because I was getting my hands in grease and dirt 
and then having to wash my hands. And this stayed right on even when you washed your hands. So I changed it, you know, every day. It, but it's it's good stuff for everything has a spray. And you can also, you know, put on a big gauze bandage with it. Use it told. It's just pretty versatile stuff. Uh, first aid adhesive tape. Good stuff. Now, if you do happen to have a wound and you're going to be on the trail for a few days, this is amazing stuff. This is bag bomb. Just carry these little cans. They're real cheap. Now, I don't know what's in this stuff, but i got to tell you, I've had cuts that, that I was having a problem with, especially like a burn, and, and after a few days it wasn't healing. I put this stuff on there, and the very next day, it was like all gone. A lot better. Almost completely healed up. I don't know what's in this stuff, but it's just simply amazing. It's made to treat uh, cow udders with. Now, I don't have an udder, at least not one I know about, but hey, it works for me. It works great. Okay, uh, here's something else I carry. It's fairly lightweight. It's an ace bandage. Now, uh, if you were out and, like, twist your ankle and you need some extra support or, or, or damage your knee, this can come in really handy as a wrap to kind of reinforce it and hold it in place, hang on to the tendons, and really, really can make your life a lot simpler. And it's not that heavy. Another thing, and you're going to laugh, but it's true. If you're a young guy, you're going to be rolling your eyes, and if you're an old guy, you're going to go, well, yeah. This is a Preparation H suppository that's designed to treat hemorrhoids. Now, if you're out and you're in a situation where you can't take a bath every day, and you're out for three or four days, and on like the second or third day, you haven't had a chance to take your undies off and clean up, there's a chance you could get a hemorrhoid. Now, a lot of people have never had them. Some people have them all the time. But anybody that's ever had a hemorrhoid is going to tell you this could be worth out on the trail worth a hundred bucks easily because this will take care of it. You won't have any problem. So even though you know it's not cool, <laughs> it really, really is a good idea to carry a few of these. If not for you, maybe for one of your friends because it can make the difference between a great hike and a really, really bad one. Okay, what else we got here? Oh yeah. The directions that come with the first aid kit. Now, lots of times this can come in real handy because I'm not a doctor, although I play one on the internet. Uh, different symptoms and, and treatments, this, this covers basically all of them and it can bail you out of a bad situation. Uh, now, I carry all this in one of these small Walmart lightweight uh, first aid kit packages. Just carry this in my pack separate, but oh, you know, this and this. Most everything else besides these three items will fit in here. You can put a lot of band-aids and suppositories and stuff in here. And <clears throat> also carry another pack with some with some other stuff in it. Stuff to clean my glasses and and sterile pads and my super glue and just some high-end stuff. Then this little baby here was designed for uh, holding uh, fishing flies. It's got all kinds of nifty little compartments in it that these compartments open up so you can keep everything separate and you can see through them and see in there what you've got. Well, besides having a lot of regular stuff like uh, reflective thumbtacks to mark the trail when I go to go to the bathroom so I don't kill myself, you know, I put them around anywhere where there's a hazard and it also helps me get back. I've been lost going to the bathroom a few times and it ain't pretty. Uh, i got batteries for my flashlight work for my stove, but right here is something first aid. This is a sewing kit. I know, I know, but if you get a really bad wound, you may have to sew it up. So I've got a sewing kit here. And then over on this side, I've got pills. Painkillers, sleeping pills, three or four different kind of painkillers, all, all kinds of, whatever, whatever your poison is that you like to kill pain or, or you know, treat any problem you have your own medication, whatever, even sleeping pills. Uh, very important. I think that's everything I carry in my first aid kit. As you can see, I'm, I'm fairly well uh, set up for, uh, you know, most anything that happens. Now, if you buy a military first aid kit, those are more designed for battle wounds, like large bullet wounds and stuff, and they come with some really big pads. Well, I've never been shot out on the trail, but instead of carrying all that stuff, I just carry a body bag. Because if I get a hole that big, then I need something that big to plug up a hole that large. And I think the body bag is a lot more appropriate. Uh, and as far as splints, 
you know, if you break your leg, we both know you're not going anywhere. You can put a splint on it, use a nice bandage to wrap it and hold it steady, but you're not going to walk out on a broken leg. And if you are, well, you're a lot tougher than I am. So, uh, I'm Tinny from Mini Bull Design. Have a great day and stay safe.